Okay, so you want the inside scoop on this KRC20 Conan token? Buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into the world of meme coins on the Cospa blockchain. And it's a wild world out there. It really is. And what's fascinating to me is the sheer speed at which these KRC20 tokens are popping up. You sent me some YouTube videos on this Conan token, and honestly, the titles alone have me hooked. Yeah, what's interesting is this speed really highlights the accessibility and the speed of this new technology, but it also throws a spotlight on just how volatile this space is. For sure. Definitely not financial advice, but yeah. let's break down what these YouTubers are saying so you can at least navigate this world knowing what's up, right? So first things first, what IS this Conan token? Well, it's a KRC20 token, which means it's built on the Cospa blockchain, kind of like how Shiba Inu is built on Ethereum. Okay. And it's very much still new technology, so we're in experimental territory here for sure. Very much the Wild West of crypto. <laughs> but we actively talk about this dog. Pretty. The videos mention a Belgian Malinois named Conan served with U.S. Special Forces. Right, and they really play up this whole hero narrative, focusing on this idea of bravery and loyalty. Which I get, I mean... Yeah, I mean, he was even injured during that raid on the ISIS leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, which just adds to the whole image of courage under fire, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then this ties directly to the tokens whole thing, right? Community-driven, all about mirroring that loyalty and strength. You got it. So speaking of community, these videos mention XT.com as a potential listing. But they highlight dap.change and, get this, Telegram bots as places you can already buy Conan. Yeah, you can. You can buy it right now. But that's where things get even riskier. It's not like a centralized exchange, so it's important to be very, very careful. Yeah, a good reminder for yeah. sure. Now, for those who are comfortable with higher risk, what are these videos saying about the potential upside? Well, they seem very keen on the distributed ownership model. Okay. One video even points out that the top 10 holders only have about 15.8% of the supply, which is designed to prevent, you know, one single person from manipulating the whole market. Which is good, because I know there's a lot of concern about that in the meme coin world. Absolutely, yeah. Still some red flags. I mean, one video mentions Cornyn already hitting a $1 million market cap, and another one claims it's closer to 147000 Wow. Talk about mixed signals. Right. Huge discrepancy there, but that is normal at this stage. Mm -hmm. Information is limited and things change so fast. That's part of the excitement, but also the risk, right? Yeah, that's good yeah. advice for sure. And speaking of good advice, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email and click the verification link sent to your email. Now back to Conan. So we've got this intriguing mix of meme-driven hype and like genuine potential. I'm curious about the community. How active and engaged are they? Because that can make or break a meme coin. Right. Yep. Oh, absolutely. And that's where things get really fascinating. One of the videos even said, the community is at the heart of the Conan of Caspa token, making all decisions through decentralized governance. How much of that is real and how much is just clever marketing? Mm -hmm. We've got to take a closer look at the community dynamics. Are they genuinely passionate about Conan or just caught up in the hype? That's what we'll explore next. You know, you mentioned those Telegram bots yeah. earlier as a way to buy. Right. And that, to me, that's fascinating because it's a perfect example of, like, the good and the bad of this world. Yeah. This whole double-edged sword thing, yes. right? Yes. I'm listening. Break it down for me. What's the deal with these bots? Why are they so important? Well, just imagine you're basically trusting a piece of code with your money. <sighs> these bots, they're often outside the safe cards you'd find on a regular exchange. Yikes. That does not sound good. No. I've even jotted down a name here. KSPR underscore home core bot. Does that ring a bell? I mean, it's definitely one to be cautious of. And, and I think that's the bigger point here. Always, always do your research. Yeah. Before interacting with any of these platforms, look at reviews, check forums, you know, just make sure you're not walking into something shady. It's like that old saying, if it sounds too good to be true. Probably is. Exactly. Exactly. And in the crypto world, that is definitely, definitely true. Yeah. And this is where it gets interesting. They do offer a level of accessibility, you know, especially in places with stricter crypto regulations. Right. So it's yeah. a trade off. Right. Convenience versus security. Versus security. Exactly. And that plays right into the psychology of this whole meme coin thing. Fast paced, high risk. Everybody's worried about FOMO. Right. Right. Fear of missing out. Exactly. And let's be real. When you've got a meme like special forces hero dog, that FOMO is strong. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. But how do you even begin to separate the hype from reality? Yeah. With something like this, we, we talked about those market caps, 1,147,000. Is any of that even reliable? All right, well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Mm. 
it's complicated. The truth is, with new meme coins, the numbers are often self-reported or they're pulled from very limited data. I'm not saying it's always manipulation, but it makes it really hard to know for sure. So how we cut through the noise, where do you even start? You have to go beyond just the numbers, right? You've got to look at the project as a whole. And remember that, quote, the community is at the heart of the Conan of Caspa token. Well, that's where you have to look. Is this a real community or is it just a bunch of hype? Okay, so how do you evaluate that? What's the difference between a community that's in it for the long haul versus just like, you know, along for the ride? It's more than just numbers, right? Are people having real conversations? sharing ideas or are they just spamming emojis are they contributing to the project in a meaningful way or is it just about the price those are the things to look for got it active participation critical thinking mm. you know a shared vision beyond just make a quick buck exactly it needs a solid foundation but there's another side to this watch out for excessive hype you know promises of riches hmm. attempts to silence any critical questions those are red flags right it's like if everyone in the room is telling you you're a genius yeah it's probably time to find a new room exactly exactly a little skepticism is healthy in this space and remember we're just scratching the surface here right your own research is key you've got to do your due diligence to navigate this world responsibly Absolutely. And speaking of responsible navigation, make sure you visit BrianGarvin.com, that's Brian with an I, and get your free affiliate guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Simply submit your name and email, click the verification link sent to your email, and start learning today. Okay, let's shift gears for a sec. Let's talk about the future of Conan. Is this just a flash in the pan or does it have some staying power? Well, that is the million dollar question. And the truth is nobody has a crystal ball, right? especially in crypto. But we can analyze, we can look at the community, try to find some clues, right? See if there are hints about their long term prospects. OK, let's do it. So we've covered a lot of ground here. We talked about the tech, the meme, the community. But for someone listening, trying to make sense of it all, what's the bottom line? Should they jump on the Conan bandwagon or is this like Doge eat Doge world? You know, that's the million dollar question. And honestly, there are just no guarantees in crypto, especially with these meme coins. But yeah. here's the thing, Conan's story, this whole special forces hero dog narrative, it really taps into something, you know? It's very human. Yeah, it's like we're hardwired to root for the underdog. Exactly, heroism, loyalty, a raid on a high profile target. It's a compelling story and stories, they can move markets, For sure. at least in the short term. And one of the videos even mentioned they already have over 2,100 holders. Wow. So clearly something's resonating there. It's wild how fast these things can blow up. Yeah. But like you said, no guarantees. Right. Today's hero dog is tomorrow's forgotten meme. Mm -hmm. So for someone approaching this cautiously, what's your advice? Do your homework, man. Dive deep into that community. You're right. Read their white paper if they have one. I think one of the videos mentioned it. Okay. Do they have a roadmap? Are there concrete plans, real goals, or is it just hype? You've got to look for that substance. Beyond just the meme. Exactly. Uh, and remember, meme coins are volatile, right? Don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Be prepared for a wild ride. This mm -hmm. is not a get-rich-quick scheme. That right, right. It's about understanding what you're getting into. Making informed decisions. Absolutely. So as we wrap up our deep dive into the world of Conan, what's the final thought you'd leave our listeners with? You know, meme coins, they might seem like a fad, but they're really a reflection of our culture, sure. our risk appetite, this whole power of online communities. Whether Conan makes it big or fades away, it's a story worth watching. Absolutely. From a safe distance, of course. Of course. Of yeah. course. A little skepticism never hurt. Never. Paired with that, like, yeah, never know, thrill. Well, on that note, We'll leave you all to do your own digging. Remember, knowledge is power, especially in the crypto world. Stay curious, stay informed, and as always, happy investing. And don't forget, if you're looking to navigate the world of online business, BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I has got you covered. Download your free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, and learn how to transform your online presence into a thriving business. Yeah. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and we'll catch you on the flip side of the next deep dive.